You know, I'm now a registered independent simply because I'm sick and tired of the games these parties play with our future and our grandchildren's future. And fiscally, we have to get things under control. We need maturity to come back to the room. And unfortunately, you know, I don't see that happening this cycle. Stanley Druckenmiller gives Biden's economic policies an F, blames the Fed for reigniting inflation. In fact, he referred to himself in this story as a man without a candidate. He doesn't have much good to say about Trump either. He thinks no, he, that Trump he, presidency he, he, also will fuel inflation. Uh, what do you think about Druckenmiller's uh, uh, uh Analysis. Yeah, he's just being a very realistic uh, understanding. This current administration, if reelected, will 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 put us in in dire straits. But he's not a fan of Trump, and I can understand his point of view there because Trump is a spender as well as we saw during his presidency. Now, Trump did drive economic growth, so my argument is, if it's a binary choice, I would pull the lever for Trump. You know, uh, and at but, least get the get economic growth. Yeah, because but you're it, right. There wasn't really fiscal reform. No, there was in not. The Trump and, and, and and so uh, and Trump loves debt. And he's done that in his personal wealth. How he gained his wealth is using leverage and debt. Now, uh, to Trump's credit, at least when he did borrow or spend, the interest rates were here, <laughs> you know, very low. But now we're having to borrow at substantially higher numbers because they continued the spending and in fact increased it when Biden went into office. And again, we have people that email in the show. Look, they both spent money. In fact, you know, I recently left the Republican Party uh, just based on they have left me behind. I'm, I'm, I'm closer to a libertarian, truth be told, but I'm a fiscal conservative. Uh, but, you know, I'm now a registered independent simply because I'm sick and tired of the games these parties play with our future and our grandchildren's future. And fiscally, we have to get things under control. We need maturity to come back to the room. And unfortunately, you know, I don't see that happening this cycle. But anyway, you do have a third choice out there. Robert Kennedy's got some steam. Uh, I love some of his issues on certain issues. I'm completely think he's out to left field on, on many other issues. And so I don't think I could pull the trigger for him, but at least he's creating conversation on issues, which is, the, I think, what we do need to have in America today. And again, uh, Vivek Raswamy, who bowed out early in the primary season after the first couple defeats, he at least did a great job of engaging people and making us have conversations on issues that, that the main parties don't want to, you know, they, they choose their issues and kind of toe the party lines right down to the local politicians here on both sides on X or Twitter, following them. They want to, they just want to re repeat the same word. It comes out from the headquarters and they all say the same adjective what have you. I think most Americans are fed up with that system.